What are your thoughts on the patch notes? Haven't read them yet. I'm going to read them live on stream. Uh, today was update day, so we're currently running uh, 1.7.4. We've been running 1.7.3 since I started playing on the series. So this is my first update day. Uh, I don't know is scale sauce on it or zine sauce on it. I know those are the two people who have played today. Uh, and I know H played and he was apparently molding over it. So that'll be fun. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza to Brandon. Uh, still not there really, but three days in a row. This hopefully by the time this video goes out, it'll have been four days in a row, and this will be the fifth, because hopefully I'll be daily uploading. I didn't fall behind at any point. Which saying hi to YouTube again. Like I said, it's yeah, um, getting back into it, but I appreciate you guys watching the YouTube series. I've been hearing a lot about it. People have been coming over to the streams from the YouTube, and now people have been uh, checking the series out in general. And I'm glad you guys are liking it, so thank you for that. Uh, we've already been giving a lot of love uh, this morning, and I've got a few things to pick up from from the last episode. If you guys didn't watch, we ran another vault, and we made a trade with H for some of the things, well, the two stews that we got from completing our uh, sand fans of sand. Uh, hourglass. So I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, Loki Lover and Trash Accountant both dropped us a couple of traders. So I'm pretty happy about that. We got Oozing Pizza and Choice Flasks. Choice Flasks, uh, we were looking that up. A Choice Flask is the item that allows you to uh, change your specialty. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like remove your specialization and change it over to a different thing, which we don't have any specializations yet. The main thing that we're working toward is... Where is it? This one right here. Dash. So we're at level 19 right now. Close to level 20. I want this as soon as I can possibly get it. We've already leveled up our dash to 3. Uh, we have step. We have speed 2. We've got twerker. Level 1. Still, I say I regret getting this, but it's probably because I've just been given an unlimited amount of food. What it feels like at this point. But if I ever run out of food, I feel like I'll actually like having it. Van Meyer 2. We talked about how even though I'm an Echo Hunter and Fortune would be like the number one thing for me to get as my role in this series is to get orbs and multiply them, that I could just go to H, pay him a little bit of tax, I think people said like 5% or whatever, and have him fortunate for me, which is great because, you know, we don't need two people to have Fortune, and I can get some buffs myself. That's nice. Then we have Ghost Walk 1. So that's where our uh, talents and abilities are. And then yesterday, we got Danks. So this will be nice. We're going to craft this today because with the two stew that we traded H, uh, he gave us four black opal. I missed one inside the vault, so nice. Um, but he gave us four black opal, which is required to make the first one. So we'll try that out. And we also got furniture and decorator because these were two that allowed us to deduct uh, from worry, the cost of this. Everyone regrets learning to twerk. <laughs> so oozing pizzas can go in here. And uh, choice flasks can go... I think... Would this be the one that I want to... Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Would this be the one I want to put it in? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, we can do that. And then we got some love from Zen LED, Pearl Girl, uh, E Harmonic Plum, Loki Lover, Casual Relic, and Luxord Gambler. We got something really wonderful yesterday that I have a plan for in just a moment. So we'll see if we get anything good this time around. Another burger to fun. Thank you. Blackstone. Love that. Pizzas, more fun into the restaurant. Perfect. Couple of these. That was not what I meant to do. Emeralds and string. Not bad. Couple more of those. Redstone and string. Okay. Another burger for the restaurant. Beautiful. And... Nice. Uh... Oh, patch notes the following announcements. There's the Google Doc. Vault Hunters 2 patch notes. Mod version 174, pack version 263. There's a lot of notes here and a lot of talking. Some of them important to me, but mostly not because of my low level and inexperience. But there is one that caught my eye. Uh, change the Vault Champions box to only be rewarded for the fastest boss kill. If a new record is set and the Champions box is Champion box is rewarded, Awarded. Only boss kills being faster than that time will award another one. What's going on here? So from this update, if a person beats a boss in the in a faster time, they get a crate? 
Server-wide speedrun competition to only be rewarded for the fastest boss kill. If a new record is set in the champion box is awarded, only boss kills being faster than that time will award another one. This means from the moment that you enter into the vault. So, like, from the moment you enter into the vault to when the boss dies, not spawning in the boss and then killing him, right? It starts at five minutes. You have, like, five minutes. I'm confused. Oh, last season had boss speedruns as well? No way! You guys didn't tell me? It begins at five minutes for champ crate. You can set a new time, say, 4.15. Oh, so, like, if nobody has done... Uh, nobody has beaten a boss... The first one beaten needs to be under five minutes. It, so the five minute thing is just a placeholder. Y'all could have said that a minute ago or five minutes ago. So nobody's done that yet. And Iskal and h have both been on. Zine's on currently. I don't know if he's running any vaults today. Interesting. h tried, didn't get low obelisks. That's basically what it is, right? Like you have to just hope that you roll like three or four obelisks at most. Because otherwise you're going to take way too long to find them. h was one obelisk short and then went into a mine for 20 minutes. Hey, might as well get some productivity done. I believe Zine is currently running vaults. I don't know whether or not he's doing, um, he's going for the speed run of five minutes, but that's all I needed to hear in the patch notes to know that that's what I would like to do today. So I want to get working on that. Yesterday was a really wonderful day for us because when we traded away the two vault stews and we rolled some of our armor, we got two pieces of armor that we're pretty good. We got the Vault Chest with 5 armor and 0.4 armor toughness uh, and 7% knockback resistance. This is pretty good. Requires level 34. And then the Vault Leggings, which is 4 armor, and it has uh, 400 durability added to it. So that's pretty good, too. The helmet and boots that we got, I think they're... Uh, where are they? Was it right here? Yeah. So this is the helmet that we got. 2 armor is shit. I thought that the armor would be, like, the same as vanilla, where helmets, like, don't protect you as much as, like, chest plates and leggings. Not the case on here. This is terrible, and the wither immunity doesn't matter. We'll probably have something better by then. And the Vault Boots 3 isn't great. That 3. So, we went and traded with H, and we got uh, some scrappy Vault Boots that are 4. 4 armor, so that's pretty good. And the required level is also pretty low as well, too. And then the Vault Helmet, which is 4. So, 4 and 4, 4 and 5. Pretty nice. Three repairs and one level on that. So all of these have level uh, abilities too. Some scrappy don't have levels. But that was a good trade from H. And then he gave us 29 Wu Tax shards, which makes it so when we use these in an anvil, it will uh, lower the level requirement of the armor by one at a time. It requires one vanilla armor or one vanilla level to be able to do it. So I'm going to need to go into the nether and uh, get some XP. But. My goal is I would like to equip all of this today so I could stop running around in terrible armor. We got a really wonderful item yesterday. Where are you at? There you are. The Pickering. Efficiency 5 and Breaking 3 and Silk Touch. We dropped it on there. This thing is just... Dude, it's so good. Look at that. And it brings the block back to you, man. Imagine I had reached 10 and I could just replace it back from here. Oh, it would be so nice. But yeah, this is a pull that we got yesterday. Like a 1 in 250, 1 out of 400, some stupidly absurd, absurdly high chance, or low chance, from um one of the, like, question mark gold things. I don't know what they're called. This might not be the most worthwhile investment, but just because I'm going to do it. Thank you, H, for the netherite ingot. Wait! Oh. God, I'm so stupid. Uh, okay. I don't we I don't we try that again. Let's try that again. Thank you, H, for the nether writing it. I have a flame ring now. Apparently it sets things on fire. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if bats can bats can take fire damage. Maybe it was because it didn't pass through it. Huh. What's something I can go set on fire? Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. I want to test this. Dolphin's Grace, thank you. Hey, zombie. 
Wait. Wait. I've been scammed. Wait. Oh. Uh, the gear that we had before, I was using the leggings on three, and then I was using the iron chest plate. So it was, it's like, to the naked eye, it looks like good armor because you got prop four on basically all of it. And then even though this is an iron chest plate, you have prop three. So it's kept us alive. It definitely hasn't made it easy on us though. But the main attribute we need to be looking at is the armor level underneath the name. So three, two, two, and two. What is that? Nine in total. And this is four, four, five, and four. That's 17 in total. So the, getting this armor on and then adding protection onto it, the only thing we can't add is mending. But we can add protection and unbreaking to this as well, which I want to do before going in. It's going to be a huge deal for us. And we're going to be so much stronger, which is really important before I get any form of healing. So the wu tax starts to be nice. I think we're probably going to stay at level 20 throughout the duration of this. So in order for us to be able to put this on, we would need six wu tax shards here. Oh, God, we do not have a lot of them. We need nine shards here. And we have 14 left. Fourteen for the chest plate. I'd say that should be the order of what we do it in. Because the legs are three, and this would only be upgrading it to four. The armor toughness is actually it's not that great on these leggings. The four hundred durability is nice. But at the moment, like this is from two to four. This is from two to four. The chest plate is two to five. But the legs are only three to four. I think the legs are the lowest priority. Helmet, chest, and boots. And then we just rock the diamond legs as well, too. You can upgrade the legs to netherite. About that. So upgrading the diamond legs to netherite might be a good play. And then getting this armor on would be good. So we need nine levels, 14 levels, and six levels. Okay. Um. So what I'm going to do, there's still a few other things that I want to do before I go into a vault. Like, I want to get the, um, the dank made soon. But I think first priority for me is going to be going into the nether and just mining up a shit ton of, um, mining up a lot of quartz to get experience. We'll get the armor on, and then, oh, I need to enchant it, don't I? People don't really use enchant books in this series, or enchant tables. It's more just enchanting books. We don't have any protection books, unfortunately. There's lots of villagers. Go to gold farms, dress as a trading hall, open for all. Is it like a public trading hall? Dress as a policy, everyone can use their villagers. Oh, that's cool. Uh, if I went, so I'm assuming I have to go into the nether. Because you guys said it's by the gold farm, right? Gold farm has all books and has XP farm, 400, 400. Well, in that case, let's bring some emeralds. I don't know if there's any there, but I would like to provide my own if needed. Uh, I'm going to assume... Yeah, probably. Wide Boy. Golden Girl CG. <laughs> I love that song. I haven't seen a... Oh, dude. Wait. And we got villagers here? I want to see, like... Yo! We're at 185? Okay, here we go. This is sick! Man, it's like the, the opposite of my base. You know, I'm walking around and all I see is like a, a light blue. All stress see is just a deep red. It's kind of eerie though. This reminds me of like a Mad Pack 3. Or just like a Mad Pack kind of base. It's cool. Brought 1. Okay. Protection 1. Looting 3. Depi 3. Feather Falling 4. Knockback 2. Respiration 3. Fifty five, 5. Smite 5. Sharpness 5. Oh my god. Prop 4. I'm breaking 3 and Silk Touch. Power 5. Aqua Affinity. Punch 2. Mending. Sweeping Edge. Fortune 3. Toolsmith. And Weaponsmith. Well, this is what I need. How expensive are you? 37 enemies for it. And a book for it. Uh, Fire Aspect 2. Band of Arthropods. It's nine emeralds for a bookshelf. A bookshelf gives us three books. So we would need... We don't need the legs right now. We just need three. So we need three prop books and two unbreaking books because we already have one at home. I would need to spend 18 emeralds for books. Uh, and then how much would that cost? So 37... 
74, 101. Is that 101 or is that 111? That's 111. 111 emeralds. Which is just about what I have right here. But how much for the unbreaking? The unbreaking is 11 as well, too. All right. Let's pick up two of these. Do I have an axe on me? Oh, I do. Nice. All right. We got our books. So three pro threes or three pro fours. I almost clicked that. Oh my God. I hate that. I hate that so much. How much would that have lost me? 11. Nice. We got some good deals as well too. And then I'm breaking three. We need two of you. Breaking three. I'm breaking three. Perfect. How much for Depi? What do I need? Only 14. Hmm, pretty good. What about Featherfall? We have Feather Falling at home. So thankfully, I don't need to pick that up. But that's really nice. Yeah, Death Strider 3. I don't have a Death Strider 3 at home, do we? I don't think we have a Death Strider 3 at home. Get Mending? No, you can't get... You can't apply Mending to the armor. There's no reason for it. Um, so the only Mending armor that would work would be my Leggings, because they're vanilla. Yeah, let's get Death Strider 3 as well, too. So we still got 19 Emeralds. Uh, Aqua Affinity might actually be pretty good. Respiration probably doesn't matter. I don't think I'm going to stay in the water for that long. How much is Aqua Affinity? Aqua Affinity is only eight. Uh, but we don't have a book for it, but I could buy another book. Is that the last important thing that I need? Prod I'm breaking, Feather Falling and Depi, and then Aqua Affinity on the helmets. Let's pick up one more book. And then... Aqua Fendi. Perfect. Dude, look at that. We had just enough. That is so... Man, we came out of here with how many books? One, two, seven books? All right. Can't script it any better than that. So is the XP farm also for public use? Because I'm not going to lie, I would much rather sit here and kill these guys for a long time than go off in the nether and have to fly around for ages. This public use? Stress, I appreciate what you have done so very much. That's nice. That's very nice. Yep. That's nice. I'm going to be here for a little bit. It's always the better play to combine the books first. So we're going to do that. Is this the correct order? Yes, it is. Prot three, or prot four, I'm breaking three. Oh. Oh, well, I have an unbreaking book at home, but that's okay. I can finish the job there. It doesn't matter. Um, Prop 4, I'm breaking 3. I'll add Aqua Affinity to this as well. So that's 8 levels this way. 3 levels here. That's going to be the helmet. Uh, Prop 4, unbreaking 3. Add Depi onto there. That'll be the boots. By 20. And I guess we can do this now, right? Yeah, there's no reason not to. Boots. That. 16 levels. Prop 4 and breaking 3, Death Strider 3. I don't think there's any reason for me to lower the level requirement first because it's always one level inside of an anvil. So, do that now. Thank you. Don't hit me, dude. Basically naked, man. God, it gives me so many levels. I love it. And then the helmet with the prot, unbreaking, and aqua fitty. That gives me 12. Beautiful. And then we're doing the chest plate, which is the protection, which I'll need to go home for. Assuming that'll probably cost me around like 80, 18 levels. Um, so I'll get 18 levels and go home, but not now. I'm going to do the shards now. I don't think I'm going to get to a higher level than 20 for a good while, so I think it's fine for me to do 9. Uh, that'll bring the level requirement down to 20. So we can run that there. This will take 6 levels. Okay. Perfect. Boots, Wutax shards, down to level 20. And the chest plate will require 14 levels. Whenever we want to have some friends come down. Chest plate, Wutax shards, level 20. Beautiful. Don't really need lace or anything, but that's our armor. And then I'm assuming to apply the uh, enchants that I need, it'll cost three levels for the book. And then the chest plate. I don't see it costing more than, like, 13 levels, so we could probably leave here on, like, 20-something. 20, 20, 
22, 25 maybe at most. So I'm going to chill here and let them spawn for a little bit. Thank you, Stress, very much for everything. I'll be taking my anvil and heading on my way home. I will leave a thank you note at some point when I come online off cam. Um, but I appreciate the public farm very, very much. And if you ever need any prismarine, you know where to find me. Chest plate. That. Eight levels for that. Oh. Oh, no, we're already good. I already... Oh, thank God. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have enough for the Wutex stars, but we're fine. Eight levels on level 20. And uh, we're not able to get the pants, unfortunately. It's not that big of a deal. We'll get the netherite on in a bit. But, uh... Man, I'm looking like one of those fucking, like, ah, uh, you know those, like, mobile games that advertise, or, like, any kind of, like, zombie survival game? Where, like, the, the zombies are gearing up and they find, like, some fucking, like, plating in a trash can out back of an Arby's. So they, like, cut a hole through it for their eyes and they throw it on, like, yeah, dude, I'm geared. Neck has negative length. What are you talking about? This is clearly intentional. Do you see? Do you see my tip plate in uh, outside my chest? That's not. That's not for the bosoms. That's for the bottom of my tin can. It rests perfectly on it, so I can run around without needing to hold up the weight of my chin. You just doubled your armor points. Yeah, we went up from nine armor points to seventeen. So we're gonna be in a pretty good spot now. And we do have nineteen levels as well. I thought I actually didn't have that many. Uh, where's our feather falling boots? Our feather falling book? Another falling four right there. Throw that on vault boots. Uh, to you. Eleven. Prop four on breaking. Death Strider and feather. Beautiful. Time to make the dank. I've looked forward to this for about a day. I'm very excited. I honestly thought I would have made it yesterday. So we need four black opal, a chest of any kind, and coal. Is that the only one we need? Yeah, I think any kind of chest. Coal and opal. Thank you, H, for the opal yesterday in the trade. Once again, I probably could have gotten that on my own if I wouldn't have missed one. But, like I said, player diff. Four coal, and... Yeah, I'm curious, does it work with any kind of chest? Let's find out. Crafting. That's a dank! Neat! So this is... Ooh. What's this green one here? Building slot? Green for building. Just scratch it on the ground by another portal? I'm aware. Uh, I dropped it on the ground because it's a dupe. So I don't need it. This is a secondary one. So yeah, it's gonna vanish on some. Green one is the one that's selected. Okay, so that means that if we... Yo, yo, put yo. the black stone into the first one, and we put like hardened stone and stuff into the rest, when I'm like walking around... Wait. With the eye, you can change the construction mode or bag mode? Keybind. I construction mode. That's sick. I like it. Yeah. So this has like been the best friend of pretty much everybody on the server. And now we got our own. It's only nine slots and the it only stacks up to 256. There are several other levels that would essentially give you infinite. Um, but these require a little bit. Even dang two requires a little bit more than this one. It's a big difference, considering the stack limit of 1,024. Um, but that's going to save us a lot of storage space inside of the vault. So I'm pretty happy about that. Does Stu stack inside them? That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't even know if I have my Stu stuff. Do I have my Stu? Just make a few uh, standard Stu's right now just to test it. I should just make two. I don't want to waste my... Those. Can you stack? Ooh. You can eat directly from the dank. Oh, shit. Imagine we made 256 saturation stews and we had, a, we had a separate dank for just eating food. Like, I have a dank for building blocks in this slot and I replaced my golden carrots with a dank in this slot that has nothing but food. Do healing pots also stack to 256? If you sneak scroll, it moves to another item in the bar. You can press shift scroll while wheel to change the item that the dank uses. Does it hover over it as well? So like, so that wouldn't be for offhand. 
That's the only item I've got in there right now. I, bag, so building blocks, food, and then a gapple. It's pretensive. So, shift scroll, wait. I, destruction. Oh, oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Holy shit. So, I think it's time we fill the tank. How are we all feeling about hunting down for 256 uh, dandelions real fast? We've got two. I think we're going to go on a little journey. And that's exactly what I did. I went off into the world and I gathered up 256 dandelions and each of the mushrooms. And I just kind of wish that I would have tested a saturation stew in the dank before I left. That's not a spoiler or anything, but this is how it turned out once we were done. Have you ever seen an inventory more beautiful than what you're looking at right now in front of you? I'm hungry in real life, so this is kind of a problem for me. I'm probably going to order lunch or dinner. I don't know. It's 6.25 p.m. and I've only eaten two breakfasts today. This is incredible. It's time for soup. Uh, that doesn't work, so I need to be careful with this. Suspicious stew. Oh, we do it this way, don't we? I'm really thankful that this server does not have any kind of clear lag, because throwing all of these under the ground terrifies me. But I think this is the fastest way for me to do this. I'm just really making sure that I don't accidentally shift-click when I haven't put the dandelions in. And I think we're good. Suspicious stew, we'll put in there. They do stack. Pickup is filtered. I'd pay money to hear that again. For everybody who's gifted any subs or bits today, I hope that that moment right there was worth it for you. That is 256 suspicious stew saturation. Let's take a look. I, construction. Looks like we'll have to settle for 256 god apples, Sai. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you know what? That's a fair point. If I can't eat my so stews, I should be compensated fairly. So with what I thought was going to be one of the most broken things that I've discovered in the series so far, ripped out of my hands because something doesn't support it, which I later learned, which is thanks. I was in for a little bit of heartbreak, and I started preparing for a speed run vault run with just the regular golden apples. When... I had another idea. So what do we got? Sus stew, which... Oh, no. Bro, how the hell do I put away 253 sus stew? Oh! Wait! Wait a minute! Hold on! Hold on! Well, the good news is it worked. <laughs> okay, that was an expensive thing. If I pick this up... Now that, maybe not perfect, that's pretty nice. I think we can work with that. The saturation isn't given when you use it, when you eat it out of a dank, and you can't eat from a stack of 64. You can, however, use the 64 as a storage option. 
So if we wanted to, say, have some food here and do a little bit of that, nobody's stopping us. Yeah, I think that's better than a golden carrot. I'm going to leave these chests like this. I'm actually going to put the remainder of the food away. That's that's pretty good. The next got fixed the next day, by the way. Thank you, Volkots. You have such good armor for your level. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the shards that we got from H are pretty good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how much we're going to be able to endure in there. So what do we got? I don't really want the flame ring. I, I know this is a good thing, but I'm going to save this until later. I just feel like it's too valuable for me right now. I've got my silk touch pick. I got my smite sword. I got my mending. Um, I do want to bring my sharp six sword just in case the boss, for whatever reason, isn't. People have said it's only smite. I don't know. I'm going to bring it anyway. I'm stupid. We got our power bar. Strength four for 30 seconds. That's for the boss. Uh, we got our dank for building blocks and healing. We got our sustu for food. We got our arena crate. I need a bucket for water. I keep somehow not having buckets but i'm gonna go ahead and fill this up real fast and i don't think there's anything else we need right no we're good what if you roll frenzy well i'm fuckled then i don't know what i'm gonna roll but i hope it's gonna be good all right vault raffle trash accountant trash are you here at the moment get an arrow no need trash are you here I'll go ahead and set up a gambo as well, too. What are we doing? Speed run success? That's... That is a high-risk gamba. I like that. This is where my chat is right now with this. With this gamba. Kill boss in minus five minutes of my first time. Now, you're looking at the 1.8 million in the pool, which is already a lot, and you're thinking, okay, most people don't believe in me. Fair shout. I believe that, too. But you only... Ha you have less than 50 people difference but you have e <laughs> why did i even hover over to see who it was yeah like that's any surprise you got m with 250k on the noper side and the highest unbelievable dude the last time believers were this scared i didn't succeed the nopers won because we got a bunch of pussy ass bitches over on the nodder side I gotta remember that I'm trying to monetize a YouTube video here, dude. I think on my episode three, I cursed like seven times in the first minute. And I'm like, yeah, this video is monetizable, by the way. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate you. We're running it. Can we beat a boss in five minutes? I'm sending it. Trash, you're here? I'm really hoping I can kick your ass right now, man. 200 bits. I'm the only one on. We got what we need. I'm not here for loot. We're preying on four obelisks at most. If it's five or more, I'm basically already fucked. Please only be like three or four. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Don't be five or six, please. Please be a low number. Please be a low number. Please be a low number. Three! Oh! Oh, I'm running it. We're pulling left straight away. Oh, if I don't fucking beat the boss with three obelisks, I suck, dude. I'm straight garbage at the game. I mean, I hate, I hate where I am right now, but, oh, we got to find the obelisk, man. Wait, it's gilded? Oh, it's gilded. Wait, does that mean there's like, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? There's like a bunch of gilded chests and shit, right? I'm not here for loot. I'm not here for loot. I'm not here for loot. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so I refunded the Gamba and looted for like 23 minutes and didn't really get anything good. So why don't we go for attempt number two? 28%? That's nearly one out of three. Becky. You poor, poor fool. I can't say that I wasted my three obelisk run. It, it was a gilded what there's literally nothing I could have done. But if it's six obelisk, I'm 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 fucky wucky. Jackson, be my guiding hand. Let's run it again. Just not 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 five or six. Four or three, please. The opposite of a speed run. I want less from the golem drop, please. Four. 
Okay. 1490, 2040. 1490, 2040. I'll come back for you. Maybe. I'm here to run the vault. Or I'm here to kill a boss. I'm going straight north. I'm going to play it off this way. There's another one of those? There's two of those. Interesting, okay. I think they were both for kills as well, too. So I'll remember that. There's one obelisk. Nice, I'm going to keep going north. Ah, oh, I didn't mark. <laughs> hey, nice. Let's go. Uh, yeah, marking, by the way. It's directly north, hey, it's okay. Second obelisk. Thank you. Oh. Not going north? True. Well, I'm lost. <laughs> dead end? Looks like a dead end completely. Okay. Made two minutes already. Alright, we're going north from here. Did I go east from a start chat? Third obelisk? No shot. I'm full sending it. Half time spent. Good one! Nice! Really good! Thank you! <gasps> oh! 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 What's up, Jackson? What's up, bud? Oh! Oh! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, what time was that? Holy shit! Did we get it? We got it! We got the boss card as well, dude! There's no fucking way! Oh, good damage, dude! Let's go! Oh my god! Bro, that was light years different from any vault I've ever ran in my life! <laughs> oh my god, what is the gamble for that? Holy shit! 2.1 million! What was that time? I just fucked everyone else over for- well, maybe not. I don't know how fast anybody else can do it. I fucked myself over, though. There's no shot I'm beating that quicker. <laughs> 320? Yeah, that was my first boss in my fourth vault. It was optimistic? Adds five minutes to the clock. Oh, that would have been good to go, like, mining in, dude. I hate it here. Oh, man. You know what they say? It's a good day to be a believer. I've never opened one of these before. I don't know what an artifact looks like. I, I have no clue what an artifact looks like. But, let's do it. We gamble for an artifact? Should we gamble for an artifact? Do you guys know the chance of getting an artifact? Very, very low. 25%. It's low. 4%? It's like a 1% chance in a vault. So you're telling me another... Another high-risk Gamba?
That's all you had to say. It scales with level. Less than 1%. At level 21? Oh, it scales with my level? At Lu 2 tier 0, it's basically non-existent. Oh, so this is like point donations then. Oh, no, 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 no. 80? No way, bro. There's no way you guys are this greedy for the return rate. There is no way. No shot. You're, you're, how much? 3.7 million? Where the fuck did you all come from? If there's, dude, there's no way. 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 I don't think I see an artifact. No artifacts? Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, what do we get here? What we got? Burger patty, six cakes, candy bar, backpack that we can't use. Uh, or maybe we can, even though we don't have that. We got an eternal soul, a white shulker box. Oh, is that it? Five silver, a mystery helmet, two burgers, two of the, like, Fragment things and then two me meteorites, metalite things. That's your crate. That's the champion's crate. Your six emerald ore, three elytra. That's ridiculous. Two golden apples, 13 golden carrots, ton of iron ore, two jade apples, a weak magnet core, magnetite, mature cheddar, five shulker shells, polar bear spawn egg, bunch of runes. Oh, we got a lime rune. Wait, we got a lime rune. That's the last one that I needed, right? That's what I needed! Yes! Oh, I'll show it off in a second for those that haven't been here. We got a perfect painite, perfect benetite. Uh, benetoites. I don't know how you pronounce it. Two oozing pizza, uh, one nether star, four skill essence, ten star essence, a sweet kiwi. kiwi uh, adds five seconds to the vault timer. Okay, I don't even know if I can use that. It's probably a one-time thing. Vault boss statue, travertine, nice. Nine vault bronze, four wither skeleton skulls, and three mystery boxes. The burger patty, an apple, and efficiency five. I ain't gonna complain. Chef, if you guys don't know what the hell I was talking about with the runes, uh, what I'm really excited about is I believe now I can make a rainbow rune with these eight. I went into the nether and I was, um,. I was going around and uh, getting runes from, like, the chests that are in those, like, blaze spawner or whatever. But, so how do you apply these? Anvil? So, I mean, it's Pride Month. Come on. There's no shot we're not going to. We're going to take our armor. There's no way we don't. And, oh, dude. Huh? So, we're going to hold off on that for just a little bit. But that, yeah, um, well, I might as well do it right now to show it off. I don't know. We might as well do one. Give me that rune. Where's the rainbow one? That is ridiculous. Let me see it. Wait, that's so sick. I thought it was going to be like kind of subtle. That's mad obvious. That's insane. I love that. Wait, hold on. Um, I've got a spare anvil somewhere. I've got an anvil here. Hold on. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go over to the um to stress this pebbling grinder. Uh, when I don't feel like dying right now because I don't have an elytra on me, I'm gonna go over to the pebbling grinder and um see what they look like with the full armor. I'm gonna get this enchanted right now. There's no way I don't. How we looking? Full armor on. Dude, I look like a fruit roll-up. I'm pretty happy with what we got, though. Dude, we look so fucking cool. Hey, we gotta go home and roll a... We gotta roll a helmet. See what we get. We gotta see, uh... What... Because the thing is, we didn't see what level guarantee it was. Right? It might be Scrappy Plus. It might be Common Plus. It could be Rare Plus. I don't know. It was a Champion's Crate. So, like, with a few items that we got from there, it'd be kind of cool if it was something of value, you know? Because you can only beat a record so many times. Omega Plus? Yeah, I imagine. Let's see what we got from it. Where's our shulker box? 
Let's take a look. Oh! <laughs> well... Good- good for us, at least, maybe? But hey. Um... I mean, there's no shot I don't do a Gamba. Scrappy, common, rare, epic, Omega. And this is if we can get it to be rare, epic, or Omega. You at least have a better shot at this than you did with the Artifact Gamba. And if that reached 20% or 18%, this one might not be... I don't know. One point. Dude, how, how, how did the Artifact... It's probably just built off hype. Okay. Let's go! I don't give a fuck what it is, we got an epic crown! Oh! Oh, it's kind of ass. Actually, maybe it's not, I don't know. To repair three level, it's kind of ass. I think, is that ass? It's good, three levels? Oh, so the levels are why it's good? Three levels is okay? It's like, eh, because the it's four ar it's four armor, two repairs, but it is three levels, right? So it's like whatever. I can't put it on though. It's level forty two. I can't even I can't even equip it. Let's go! Full helmet crown, bit hey, what a topical thing. It's a good day to be a believer. That was this is a very good day. Chat. Thank you all for the love. Thank you all for watching the stream. That was sick. I'm gonna dip after that one. I'm fucking starving. I'm gonna go, uh, dude, I've been, um, I gotta save my skill points. Remember that. I'm gonna leave this in a YouTube video, and this isn't product placement, even though Quest has sent me stuff before, uh, on one occasion, and I love that shit. But if you guys haven't tried Quest pizzas, I, I recently started picking those up. Dude, they're fucking good. They're like barely any carbs, like 68 grams of protein and like 700 calories. I'm going to make myself one of those for dinner and feel fucking fed. I ate 2K calories yesterday because I missed a meal and I ate like 70 grams of fiber, dude. I don't even want to know what my bathroom smells like. God damn. Hey, YouTube, appreciate the hell out of you. This is a proper intro for once. Thank you and goodbye.